It's been rumored for a few months, and with CES 2023, we got concrete confirmation. There is yet another TV acronym to assimilate, MLA. What is it, how does it work, and do you need it or want it? Let's talk about that. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and today I wanna to talk about MLA, or Micro Lens Array Technology. I'm sorry, there's another TV acronym to learn about and try to remember, but that's the TV tech biz, so here I am trying to make it easier to understand. Good news is, it's actually pretty clever and effective, so let's talk about what it is, how it works, where you can get it, and whether it's worth spending a little extra to get. And hey, if you like that sort of thing, do me a solid and click some buttons down below this video. Also, I love reading your comments, so knock yourself out on that. We do so appreciate it. Okay, here we go. So first off, I'm sorry to report that MLA is not necessarily the term that will be used when it's referred to in marketing materials, whether that's in the item description at your favorite online retailer or printed right on the box, you won't necessarily see MLA or even micro lens array in explicit terms. I know. The marketing machine strikes again. Thanks for making it so simple, guys. But the good news is that Panasonic will be right out there spelling out that some of its OLED TVs will have micro lens array. Simple, easy, bless you Panasonic. LG Electronics, on the other hand, will be calling attention to Brightness Booster Max, at least in its TVs. Now, how MLA will appear in computer monitors from LG and other brands like Asus, I have no idea, and honestly, I don't have space in my brain for that. Fortunately, our computing team does, and I'm sure they'll tell you all about it. Point being, MLA will appear in both TVs and computer monitors, but it will not be appearing in all OLED TVs and computer monitors. It's a bonus, a buy-up, if you will. For instance, LG's C3 OLED will not have MLA tech, but its G3 OLED TVs will. Adding somewhat to the naming convention confusion is that LG Display, which makes all the WRGB OLED panels that have MLA, doesn't itself call the tech MLA. It calls the technology META. That's all caps, M-E-T-A, and no, Mark Zuckerberg has nothing to do with it. Moving on, whatever it ends up being called, the tech itself is pretty clever. Essentially, it fixes a problem that most of us didn't even know existed. Turns out that the past 10 generations or so of WRGB OLED panels, and I make that distinction for a reason that I'll get to in just a moment, well, it turns out those panels had a light scatter problem. That is, as the light from the organic light-emitting compounds in an OLED TV traveled through various layers on its way to getting to your eyes, layers including, but not limited to, a color filter, well, that light was lost. The light bounced to and fro all willy-nilly and was just kind of lost to the ether. Actually, I think technically speaking, much of that lost light energy probably dissipated as heat. And that's not great. I mean, you would want your OLED TV to give you all the light. An OLED TV is not an efficient way to heat your home. So what MLA does is it helps to prevent that light scatter, essentially harnessing it and directing it toward your eyeballs. It's actually a very smart way to make OLED panels brighter. This way, they don't have to create more energy. They just prevent energy loss. And there are several benefits to that very efficient approach, not the least of which is no added potential for burn-in. So how does MLA harness the light and feed it to your eyes, creating a brighter OLED picture? Well, it's all in the name that I wish everyone would use, micro lenses. As animated in this video released by LG Display, which I link to below because you have got to check out how cringy the voiceover work is, it's a riot. Anyway, in this video, you can see that LG Display claims to have used a dragonfly's eyes as inspiration. They created a film layer with millions of tiny micro lenses that essentially catch light where it would normally scatter and instead route it out toward the viewer. Also, off angle viewing is improved. That's really where the dragonfly inspiration thing starts to make sense. OLED was already noticeably better off axis than LCD based TVs, but there was still a bit of color shift and saturation loss. MLA essentially eliminates that. So it took something that was already pretty great and made it even better. I approve, two thumbs up and three snaps in a Z formation. Now digging a bit deeper, these micro lenses are so incredibly tiny that LG display can fit just over five 
8,000 of them over a single pixel. And that adds up to about 42.4 billion total on a 77 inch OLED panel, for example. Let's take a moment to marvel at what it took to make that happen. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. I mean, it's so simple and yet achieving it must have been monumentally complicated. So that's the hardware or physical component. LG Display also claims there's a software or algorithmic processing element to this as well. That's the other part of the so-called meta technology as LG Display calls it, or Brightness Booster Max technology as LG Electronics calls it. The percentage of which this processing voodoo is responsible for the end result, a brighter TV with better HDR performance, is unclear, but my gut tells me that pointing to processing as an important part of this complete technology package is kind of like saying that Frosted Flakes is an important part of this complete breakfast when really the protein is coming from the eggs and bacon and the vitamins are coming from a glass of orange juice. But I digress. So what's the end result meant to be? Well, by the numbers, a WRGB panel with MLA is claimed to be capable of producing up to 2100 nits of brightness cook the books a bit, and one could claim that it is capable of 150% more brightness in some cases. And they do claim that. In reality though, HDR highlights are significantly improved and average picture level, just general picture brightness, is also increased. In fact, and this won't be proven until we've actually tested this new tech in these new OLED displays, but I feel pretty optimistic that the days of claiming OLED TVs aren't good, bright room TVs or daytime TVs are probably at least starting to come to a close. So that's the good news here, right? MLA has the potential to address one of the few issues that might cause a consumer to take pause when considering buying an OLED TV. The only lingering concerns then would be added cost and risk of burden. Now clearly LG Display would like for OLED to become the new standard TV panel tech, displacing LCD entirely because LG Display would like to sell all the panels to everyone. Makes good business. But Samsung Display is over here with QD OLED like, that's cute LG Display, but QD OLED is brighter too. And not only that, but its brightness is enhanced without the need for MLA or its added cost. And since no white subpixel is involved, the color brightness is gonna be better and more pure than your MLA thing. That may well be a scientific fact, but I think there are two other more important factors at play here. One is that LG Display is a massive OLED panel maker with both of its feet planted very firmly in the business and in a great position to spread its panel love across the entire tech industry. QD OLED is still relatively new and suffering from this tech is as yet unproven concerns, even if those concerns aren't necessarily well-founded. The other thing worth considering is perception. While it's scientifically measurable and proven that the color purity and color brightness of a QD OLED is superior to a WRGB OLED with a white subpixel, what really matters is people's perception. Look, if colors look bright, vivid, and well-saturated on an MLA OLED, and it's affordable enough to get that picture, that's what matters at the end of the day. Most folks don't shop using measurement data sheets. They make decisions based on what their eyes see. And folks, this MLA tech in OLED panels looks outstanding. At no point was I standing in front of LG's TVs or LG displays panels and thinking, you know, that magenta looks bright, but I think it might be a little washed out. Nope, that magenta looked fire AF. Folks are gonna be dazzled by how these TVs and computer monitors with MLA or Brightness Booster Max or whatever you call it, they're gonna be thrilled with how they look. Will you want it? Yeah, I think you will. I mean, do you need it? That remains to be seen, but I can't wait to find out. So yeah, MLA is a cool, clever technology. It's very effective and it's gonna make OLED TVs look even better while also making for a fun battle between WRGB OLED TVs and QD OLED TVs. I for one can't wait to compare the LG G3 against the Samsung S95C. That is gonna be a hell of a TV battle. Thanks as always for watching everyone. If you're stoked to see the MLA OLED battle QD OLED, Slap this video with a like and subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like.